I, I, look, I feel very responsible for everyone's happiness at this football club, from the chairman all the way down to the cleaners. Um, and it's all about winning games, to put a smile on everyone's face, I understand it. But I think today, um, well, do you know what, I thought it couldn't get any worse. And today I was fearing the worst, especially after 20 minutes. I thought, when, just when I thought it can't get any worse, and f things, you know, at training and um, the players, they, the way they trained on Thursday, I thought things would be a lot better, a lot quicker. It didn't happen in the first half or the first 20 minutes, but um, we've drawn 2-2 two -two and um, it feels more like a win than a draw. I think, I hope this gives everybody momentum and belief in their side because we have got some good players out there. They just need to believe it a little bit more, focus, show a little bit more passion, um, just like me and Tucker are. And um, I think we get through this, we're weather the storm and we start climbing up the table. I know it was only Roxham um, who started off bottom of the table and us second from bottom. But uh, if you have a look at Roxham's results, they haven't folded like we have in the past. Laid down and died. They've lost by the odd goal here and there. And um, today, second half especially, um, it was more like how I want it to be. Fans singing, players confident, um, subs coming on and giving 100%. No one's head went down and that's what we need to focus on. Yeah, well, I think me and Tucker kept calm, which is unusual for me. We gave them the positives instead of mentioning the negatives every, every, uh, every time. We let the players have a little think to themselves and they came back and repaid us. We made a change. We brought uh, Liam off and um, we brought Yuko on, the boy who's Loney from Leighton Orient. And to be fair, he showed a lot of energy. I think he's just a rough diamond at the moment, we need a little bit of polishing. And uh, we got back into the game and we scored two very good goals. Well look, th this is what I can't understand as a manager. Last week we drew against Waltham Abbey. We conceded a goal in the 93rd minute against a team second in the league. You keep the same side, you go to Goldstone who were uh, second from bottom and you lose 7-0. Then you play Tilbury, top of the league, who are a very, very good side. Uh, you go 4 0 up, 4 1. We made a, the goalkeeper makes a big mistake. 4 1 with 12 minutes to go. 87th minute, we concede three goals. Um, that's not acceptable anywhere. I was looking around the stadium, looking at everyone on the bench, and all I could see is open mouths in disbelief. I've got no um, idea why that happened. I've got no answers why that happened. But I hope that was the lowest point. Um, this football club, I think it was even a worse loss than um, the game against Goldstone. Hopefully that was rock bottom and um, we pick ourselves up now and um, give the supporters, the chairman, each other, um, how, can I, how can I put this, just give them what they deserve and that's not losing games every week and conceding goals and leaking. Yeah. So we need to ask the question, why, is, why are the players just on it now and again? Why do they win one game, lose the next three? I haven't got them answers, and an experienced manager like me should have them answers, but there's no excuse because each player, each player individually are good players. We've made a lot of changes. We brought in Demi, we got him from Dulwich, and I thought the kid was superb. The first game he's played since August, and I think that was against us, the start he had um, in pre-season. Demi, Demi was, he wore the number 20 today, he played centre-half, and he is 19 years old, and he, pulled, he, and he partnered Sean, another 18-year-old. The experience came from Tossin on the right, who's back in the side now, and Caleb's been superb as well. Um, so we've got a pretty young side, uh, apart from Derek, of course, uh, and George Sambu. Scotty Mitchell. Scotty Mitchell's back now. Explain a little bit about that. Scotty Mitchell got bit by a spider. Um, he's come back a little bit overweight. I think that spider might have uh, injected a few calories into him. We're working hard to get him fit. And also, Ebbs is back now as well. So we're getting injuries back. We've made a new signing. I'm still looking to sign another player to help these players and give them belief. When I say help, they're good players. They're not just believing in themselves. And I know it's got to come from me. But sometimes the motivator needs motivating. And um, I'm hoping today 
second half on was we motivated each other. Um, Tucker's been superb in training, helping lift the players. I've tried, um, and I hope the, the players believe in themselves a little bit more. A bit more belief after the, after that poor first 20 minutes performance. The second half was superb.